Hello everyone, welcome to Panicool Math Mania. My name is Captain S123 and today we will learn how to represent fractions using area, linear and set models. Did you know that when a whole object or shape is divided into equal parts, each part is called a fraction of the whole? If the parts are not equal, then they cannot be considered fractions of the whole. The rectangle shown is the whole, which has been divided into three equal parts. Therefore, each of these equal parts is called a fraction of the whole rectangle. Each of these parts represents one out of the three parts of the whole, or one third. This rectangle is a whole, and it has been divided into five unequal parts. Therefore, each part cannot be called a fraction of the whole. Now that we know what a fraction is, can you help me to answer the following question? If a ruler is divided into 12 equal parts, and seven of those parts are red, and five are blue, what area of the ruler is blue? Well, there's a total of 12 parts, and five are blue. That means five parts out of the total 12, or five twelfths of the ruler is blue. Great job. Jonathan's mother just returned from the shop where she bought a dozen eggs. A dozen eggs is the same as 12 eggs. Jonathan loves scrambled eggs for breakfast. Jonathan's mother asks Jonathan to crack three of the eggs and put the rest of the eggs safely on the kitchen counter. Can you figure out what fraction of eggs are on the kitchen counter? There were 12 eggs in total. Jonathan had to crack three eggs, so there are nine eggs left on the counter. 12 take away 3 is equal to 9. Now let's make that into a fraction. If 9 out of the 12 eggs remain, then that's 9 parts out of the 12 parts of the whole. So that's 9 twelfths. Did you get that? I hope so. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pentacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.